In this video, I'm going to show you muscles of the anterior thigh. So we're going to include some of the quads, some of the um, groin muscles and the abductors. Uh, firstly, I just need to draw a couple of bony landmarks just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to draw the patella. Make sure you have watched my bony landmarks of the knee joint because that will really help you understanding muscles first. I'm going to draw this one, which if you've seen it, you will know is the tibial tuberosity. Tibial tuberosity, patella. Um, and the other one I'm going to draw is in here. It's right at the top of the thigh. Have a little feel on yourself, just there. It's a real knobbly bit of bone. Feels about the size of a golf ball. So I'll draw, draw that in there. And that is the greater trochanter. So it's the outside part of the femur. If you want to have a look on a skeleton, just have a look over here. So what I've just drawn is this. Okay, the greater trochanter, very top of the femur here. So now I've drawn my main bony landmarks. I think the easiest muscle to draw first, or let's have a look at my client's definition. I've picked a great sample here. If you tense your quads up, brilliant. So while we're in this position, before there is any cramp happening, I'm going to draw around this medial muscle. Okay, just relax there for me. So that one is the vastus medialis. Vastus meaning great medialis meaning towards the midline um, and nice and defined you find cyclists also have defined vastus medialis muscles um, this actual section at the bottom is termed the vmo the vastus medialis oblique fibers um, right so that muscle goes up as part of the four quadriceps it attaches right up to this top medial part of the femur so i'm going to extend that muscle up like so and draw it similar to that okay thing is drawing we're drawing on skin they all look 2d but in reality they're big chunky thick muscles so that would be our vastus medialis and down the bottom are oblique fibers from the bottom of the muscle the tendon will then blend in to the top of the kneecap and the tissue will go over the kneecap and then extend down through the patella tendon so the vastus medialis muscle has an attachment directly onto tibial tuberosity. So that's one of my four quadriceps. The other quadricep I'm going to draw is the vastus lateralis. Again, we'll get our client to tense up. Okay, and we can see that muscle come around the side here. So we've got, you can see the bottom bit there, there. Okay, and it is a large muscle. Can we just see underneath? And on top of it is the IT band. So we're going down to here and it attaches and relax just before you cramped up onto this bony landmark. Remember what that's called? Okay, it was called the greater trochanter. So we're going, vastus lateralis is a huge muscle here on the outside of the thigh, attaching onto that greater trochanter. And it goes up the outside here and it heads towards that greater trochanter. So vastus lateralis is the largest of the four quadriceps. What I'm not going to show you um, on the thigh is the vastus intermedius. The vastus intermedius actually lies on top of the femur in here, but also on top of that we have the muscle I'm going to draw next. So the vastus intermedius is quite a deep muscle that we can't really get to with palpation, um, so I'm going to draw the main ones that we can feel. So we're going to go with the blue. Oh, let me just, before I forget, show you the end here so that muscle goes into the top of the patella it blends in with the fascia the connective tissue over the patella here and it unites here onto tibial tuberosity so these two muscles you can see blending into the same tendon and attaching through the kneecap into the tibial tuberosity if you have a client that has a really strong vastus lateralis as they extend their knee so extend again you might see the kneecap actually moving more that way. If this muscle is tighter or stronger, it would move this way. In a finely tuned athlete, a normal person without any knee problems at all, you would find it just moves, shifts straight upwards. So you shouldn't get any tracking medially or laterally of that kneecap. So let's move on to rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is an important muscle at the hip. If you just have a look here, its main action is i call it the kicking muscle so it has an attachment up onto the hip joint here 
And if you go to kick a ball, you're going to hip flexion, knee extension. So out of the four quadricep muscles, it's the only one that crosses two joints. So if we draw it over here, these you can see are top of femur down to tibial tuberosity. The, vast, uh, the rectus femoris actually attaches right up here. Now I'm going to have a little feel around. And I've got a big knobbly bit here on my client. This is called the ASIS, the anterior superior iliac spine. Just below there, about an inch further down this way, I can feel a springy tendon. And just to make sure I'm in the right place, I'm going to get my client to do a little bit of hip flexion there and relax and flex and relax. So I can feel that tendon is contracting, it's pulling that muscle. So that's where it attaches. I won't better get there with my pen, but we'll get the bottom bit. So same attachment on tibial tuberosity, same attachment through patella tendon, same attachment over patella. And then we have the connective fibers down here, the more tendony bits at the bottom. Is that working? Nope. Let's go with this pen. There we go, that's better. Right. So that part of um, the rectus femoris, I'll colour that more in than blue, is more tendony and you get a bit of an indentation. But once we get up to this middle section, it will become a lot more prominent. And there's also a tendon right through the middle of the rectus femoris and the fibres of it run this way. It's actually called a penate muscle. Penate muscle is Greek from the word feather. Um, and it actually, if you have a look at a muscle diagram, it actually looks a little bit like a feather. So we've got the main muscular bit here. It goes into the thick tendon, the tendon over the kneecap, onto the tibial tuberosity. And just remember where it attaches at the top here. It was just underneath the ASIS, the anterior inferior iliac spine, the AIIS is the attachment of the rec fem. So having drawn all those three muscles of the quadricep, you can see I haven't got any gaps here. Uh, when I see students draw it in class, they draw stringy little muscles. There's massive gaps between each one. Okay, every muscle blends into the next. They're all united. They're all wrapped in different sheaths. So there shouldn't be any gaps as you go around here. Um, another one I can draw from this position. If it comes out, we'll try yellow for this one. So this knobbly bit on the hip the anterior superior iliac spine. There's a muscle that comes down like so. It wraps around the bottom of that medialis and it attaches to a bony landmark at the knee joint. Now, if you've watched my previous video on knee anatomy, I'm hoping you'll recognize what that is. That's called pes anserinus. Pes anserinus is Greek for goose foot. The top muscle is the sartorius muscle. So let's see if yellow works. Can you see that? So it wraps underneath vastus medialis. Okay, and then it crosses over the front of the thigh, comes right up and has an attachment up here on the ASIS. So it is a thicker muscle, just for the diagram really. I'm making it probably a bit thinner just for us to see where it is. Sartorius is actually the longest muscle of the body. Okay, it can be anything from a meter, depending on the height of the individual. So it's Artorius. Let's go to the other part of the pes anserinus here. So we've looked at the top prong of the goose foot. The middle prong here is a muscle that goes right up the inside of the leg, carries on up. Again, I won't use my pen there, but it attaches onto the front of the hip here called the pubic tubercle. Okay, just to make sure you know where it is, you can palpate yourself. That's quite safe. But just here is a bony landmark. So from the pubic tubercle is a muscle called the gracilis. So we have the second prong up here. It runs along that sartorius. It runs straight up the inside of the leg. It is a thicker muscle. Although the word gracilis means graceful or slender. is a slender muscle. That would extend further up, as I say, and attach up here on the pubic tubercle. The last prong of the foot, the goose foot, I'm just going to draw that for the moment. But that is the semitendinosis. The semitendinosis goes underneath and is part of the medial hamstring group. Uh, 
one last one I think I will show you from this position. I'm going to come around and it's one at the top of the hip. So I filled all that in. It's all blended in nicely. Um, there's a bit of a gap here. Right, what's here? So if I get my client, if I get my client to go into the hip abduction, they're going to press out. Can you see what's happening there? And relax and tense and relax. Brilliant. Okay. Um, we're going to draw with the green. We're going to draw this muscle. I can only go up so high here, but we've got a muscle that goes right up to the iliac crest up here. And it's kind of, um, let's draw it this way. It's fairly small. Okay, up the top. It's the TFL. It goes over the greater tubercle, greater trochanter, uh, and it goes into the IT band. Now, again, one more press out for me. Good. All right, I can see the IT band here. The IT band actually runs across the vastus lateralis muscle. Okay, so you get a bit of lateralis above and below. Uh, if you watch my video on quad massage, I was explaining about massage in the IT band and I was saying you can't really change the length of it at all. But you can see if I am working here, I'll be working on the vastus lateralis. So those techniques still are useful. Now, IT band, iliotibial band comes up here and it attaches to a little point just by the lateral tibial epicondyle. Okay, it's just in slightly. It's called Gerdes tubercle. Okay, it's the end of the IT band. Oops, it's just gone a bit off, off center there. So TFL, tensor fasciolata is a hip abductor, joins into IT band. IT band's job is to be tight. That is his job. It holds and supports the thigh. And it attaches right down here onto Gerdes tubercle, which is part of the tibia. Let me just check. I've covered everything before we move on. We've got our three quad muscles. The other one we can't get to underneath. We've got sartorius in yellow. The tailor's muscle, longest muscle of the body. We've got the red one, the gracilis, meaning slender, attaches right up here onto the pubic bone. We've got this blue muscle, the semitendinosis, which you can see on the next video, the hamstring video, goes underneath and forms the posterior thigh. And what else have we got? We've got the TFL and the IT band around this side. So one more tense from a client. Lovely. Look at that. Okay, so go away and try and learn those.